Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And as you can see from our sign, we're at Ballynoor Old Graveyard. And you can see the old Mary Magdalene tower there of the church. That's all that's left of the church. And uh, you can see a plaque there on that, and that's actually of Dean Jonathan Swift, who actually preached here in the old church in Mary Magdalene Church. And there was nobody, of course, turned up to the service, and uh, he was raging. And so he came out, and down by the river he seen uh, some boys who were skimming stones. And when they seen him, they come up to mock him and give him a hard time. But he ended up preaching in the open air to them. And uh, the field that he preached in beside the graveyard is known as Preacher's Green. But that was the old church, the old Mary Magdalene church. But where we're outside now is the newer church, which is Christ Church. And it's a beautiful building, as you can see. Lovely scenery. And of course, the foundation stone of this church was laid in 1856. And one of the ministers is buried here. So I'm going to take you around and uh, let you see his grave. Look at the old doors there. You can just imagine John Wesley coming in there, couldn't you? <laughs> it's, certainly I love these old churches. It takes you back in time. Until you see a modern house behind them. <laughs> but there you can see it's the Church of Ireland. It's the United Parish of Ballynoor and Bally Easton, which is Ballyclare. And it's Christ Church, consecrated 1856. So I'll take it around this way. They certainly don't make buildings like that now, they're sure they don't. That certainly is going to stand a heavy wind, there's no doubt about it. Might even stand a hurricane, I would say. And of course the proof's in the pudding because look at the old churches that are still left. And you can see the cows there in the field. And some window. They're having their bedtime snack. As you can see. You get the feel of oldness here. It's fantastic. I would say that's possibly the months. I could be mistaken, but possibly. See the bell there? It's like the old westerns, the Mexican westerns, where you, the old church, and they've got the bell. But it's this grave here that I want to show you, because this is a minister's grave. See the lovely flowers on that plot there. But I want to show you this grave here. And I would say that that is the Mons because there's a big walkway there. So it says Nesbitt, and it says, in loving memory of the Reverend Samuel Thomas Nesbitt, for 30 years rector of this parish. He was born on the 2nd of May, 1863. And he died on the 20th of September, 1931. Also his beloved wife, Agnes Bailey, I think that is. And she was born the 23rd of October, 1873. And died the 11th of August. And that's 1966, I think. And heavenly love abiding. So there you go. So that's the, the Reverend Samuel Thomas Nesbitt. And he was the rector here for 30 years in the parish. So this is another wee, well, a big plot, this one. 
and I'll try and read this out to you as well. And it says, I am the resurrection and the life. And that's John chapter 11, verse 25. So it's just a wee verse of scripture. So I don't know whether this is a burial plot or not. I would assume it is. But there you go. So thanks for watching and God bless.